Hello everyone, welcome back to the next video in the Scratch RPG series on the Dribble Studios channel. I'd just like to say before we get this video started, make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe. It helps us out tremendously and share with your friends if you want to show off how cool your games are on Scratch and other game development software. Anyways, today we're going to be doing some finer details for our NPCs and such. Uh, this video is going to be really quick because uh, I last episode I forgot to do a couple of things and I just recently thought of some things that might make the um, like it might make it a bit better in the game and a bit more like involving is that a word involving there's there's more involvement uh, I can put in this game. So the first thing we want to do is uh, just go over to events and grab our when backdrop switched. Uh, we want to duplicate these. So now we have three of them. We're going to clean up our blocks, send, uh, fix our camera. Uh, we're going to go to looks, grab two hides. Wait, we want to grab one hide and two shows. There we go. And now we want to just sort these out. So the hide one, we want to make that map. Uh, and grass mainland and sand mainland, we want them to show. So now if we go onto our map, our NPC hides and shows. Even if we travel, he hides and shows. Another thing, I found a bug that I must have accidentally done. Uh, so with our movement script, uh, after I finished the episode, I realized that our things were backdrop number equals to one or backdrop number equals to two, which means we were immobilized when we went to the sand area for both our WASD and arrow keys. Quite an easy fix, just change one of the ones to a two. Pretty simple if you ask me. Uh, everything works in the shop, even if we go to the map, uh, we enter him into the shop in the desert and it works as well. So what I'm gonna do now is just add some finer details for the map and the NPCs. Um, so for NPC1 uh, we just want to do a copy and paste this so we duplicate that. Let's put this right at the bottom here. Uh, so if touching means C, we don't want to do that, we want mouse pointer we want it to say um, and then we want the NPC name so I think uh, this NPC name is just going to be Chunky Joe uh, so now if we touch him you can say it says Chunky Joe which, which is good which is, which, which is good However, I do not like how it uh, cuts off the Y there. I don't know what that is. Let's just full screen this. There we go. It, it fixes it. It fixes it nice. However, it's forever, so we don't really want that. Uh, so let's just do say Junkie Joe for 0 0.5 seconds. Because that means every time we take it off, it disappears. However, it's not. It's, it's not quick enough. So if we do 0 0.1, since we take it off, it, um, it disappears the text, which is really nice. Which means we can just highlight it, it will say Junky Joe, and we all good. However, that's him physically saying it. We, do, we don't want him to say it. Uh, let's just copy that. We want him to think that. So if we just do Junky Joe for 0 0.1 seconds, think Junky Joe 0 0.1 seconds. There we go. So now every time we hover over him, it kind of labels him, uh, which is really nice. Uh, this works, I'm assuming, both in, yep, it works in the desert as well. Uh, here we go. So now it's going to be Junkie Joe in the desert and the uh, grassland, which is really, really nice. The next thing we want to do is do the same thing. So just going to grab these into map B1 and map B2. 
Uh, we want to clean up our blocks in both of them so it looks nice. Uh, I do not like how that is uh, underneath, and for this one, it is above. Let's just quickly fix that. Uh, clean up. Clean up blocks. Bingo. So now, if we touch map B1 with our mouse cursor, we now want to say desert. Uh, actually, let's just put sand land because uh, that makes more sense and it's so easier to read. And let's put grass. I uh, did not want to put that grass land. Come on, let me type. Thank you. Grassland. So now, if we go over here, to this go, just hit full screen, just go maps. That is sandland, and that is grassland. We've done them the wrong way around. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Let me just. Oh man, I am so silly. Oh, I should have. I should have known. <laughs> grassland. Here we go. So we have Junkie Joe. Sandland, grassland. And there we have it. So that was just some finer detailing, uh, adding more like experience into the game, making the game look nicer, making the game feel nicer. Um, and yeah, that, that, that's all it was really. So if you guys did find this uh, enjoyable and helpful, make sure you go smash that like button and smash the subscribe button. Both can be found below. Uh, also turn on notifications so you never miss a Scratch RPG series ever again. Um, and I hope you guys continue to follow the series with me. Uh, the next few episodes we're going to be doing uh, some inventory system, which I know is a really popular thing. Maybe some some saving systems. Uh, we're going to be doing currency. We're going to be doing like viable items and stuff. It's going to be very, very, very fun and it will be a very, very enjoyable experience for you guys and for me. But make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.